Welcome to our lecture online. Even though you probably will never encounter anything quite like this in normal operation of mathematics or physics, it's just a good thing that you know how to do it so you can apply the rules and feel comfortable that you can handle just about anything thrown at you when it comes to these kind of things, rational exponents. All right, how do we start? Well, first of all, we have this in parentheses raised to the third power, so we have an exponent raised to exponent. It applies to both the numerator and the denominator, and we have to multiply then those exponents. So let's do that first. So this is equal to, let's copy this down, x to the two-thirds, y to the minus one-sixth, times, in the numerator this becomes x to the minus four over nine times three, divided by y to the one-sixth times three. Okay, when we simplify that, what do we get? We get x to the two-thirds, times y to the minus one-sixth, and that's then multiplied times. Here we have x to the minus four-ninths times three. Well, the three and the nine simplify, and this becomes x to the minus four-thirds in the numerator divided by, and here as well, the three and the six simplify, so we get y to the one-half. Okay, now we can go ahead and write this as a negative exponent, put it all in the numerator. Well, do we need to do that? Not really, I think we can get by without doing that. So let's go over here and complete the job. First of all, we're going to multiply x to the 2 thirds times x to the minus 4 thirds. The bases are the same, which means we're going to add exponents. So this becomes equal to x to the 2 thirds power plus a negative 4 thirds power. And so strictly by the rules, we're multiplying so we're going to add exponents. And then here we're dividing y to the minus 1 6 divided by y to the 1 half. So we're going to subtract exponents. So here we get y to the minus 1 6 minus the exponent here, which is 1 half. And now even though I simplified it to go to 1 half, I'm going to have to go back to something over 6 because I need to be able to subtract those exponents. Okay, here I'm going to rewrite this as x to the 2 thirds minus four-thirds, I'm going to rid of the parentheses, and this is y to the minus one-sixth minus, multiply both the numerator and the denominator by three, I get three over six, so now I have the same common denominator. Now I can go ahead and combine the exponents, so this is equal to x to the two minus four, which is minus two over three, and y minus one-sixth minus three-sixths, which is minus four-sixths. Well, this one can be simplified, so this is equal to x to the minus two-thirds times y to the minus two-thirds. And of course, since they're negative exponents, I can write them on the denominator and turn them into positive exponents. One over x to the two-thirds, y to the two-thirds, and this would then be the final format of our original problem. And that is how it's done.